but these were also built in Michigan back in the 1960s. And I believe they, they finished production somewhere in the early 1970s. It's one of the few truck campers that's uh, made out of aluminum clad. Its uh, weight was 2,160 pounds. Uh, that's not really loaded with water and things, but it's a very light camper altogether. And what you'll see as you look at it is that we've added a few things. We've got uh, solar power on the top, and we have three big AGM batteries inside. And the solar power tends to keep those uh, topped up because our camping style is such that we move quite a bit. We don't stay in one place that long, so the engine generator also gets it sort of topped up. Uh, so that's on the very top up there. And then we've got two separate fans, fantastic fans, and no air conditioner. And that keeps my center of gravity a little bit lower than it was. So on the sides you'll see here what's known in the trucking world as conspicuity tape, which is the red and white tape there. And there are two reasons for that. One is, at dusk, if you look at this, and it doesn't have any tape on it, it literally just melts into the sky. It just, it just takes on the color of the sky. And secondly, it's sort of a big old round shape that's 1940s, 1950s aesthetic. And nowadays, we like things a little bit sharper, so it kind of cuts it up a little bit too. But it's still authentic. It's the real thing right there. Cool. All of the lights are uh, LEDs. Everything, everything inside on the electrical system is LED as well. And so, like I said, the three AGM batteries will pretty much hold that together for a long time. All right. Well, walk me around it. Okay. Yeah, inside or outside? Let's start outside and we'll go in after okay. that. Okay. We've done very little construction on the exterior. The exterior remains pretty much stock. And uh, you can see it also it needs to get washed off up here in the front. We take a lot of boats. Yeah, yeah. It rides on a, on a 350 F3, F350 pickup with uh, the famous 60 liter engine, the one that everybody's so afraid of. So far, we've had very good luck with it. And it rides well. And we have um, airbags on there. And this morning, we heard from the tech at Princess that uh, Timberin, I believe it was Timberin, I'm not sure exactly what kind of things should be added to the springs. We're going to talk to them this afternoon. Okay. self-contained. You can even see here, we're not even plugged into the water. We've got our water system. We'll fill up every once in a while. And I just put the power in for a minute because my wife is using the 110 converter for her computer. But other than that, we don't even need the, need the power. We can stay out three or four days. That's about as much as we'll ever do. Okay. We're boondocking. Okay. Interestingly enough, in 1967, they never heard of a great water tank because in 1967 you could just dump on the ground. It has a black water tank, but no gray water. And what you see here on the left hand side, at the very bottom, is where we modified it. And what we did is we took four inch pipes and rolled them backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards and able to get about 10 gallons, maybe 12 gallons of gray water but it dumps separately from the black water tank. Wonderful. And it's tied down on both sides with the fast guns or the back is just the way they're tied down. So okay. It's a regular water heater. We just swapped it out. You know that the old one was the same company that has them. Okay. I don't have the key on me, but this is the exterior water Okay. that we have for showers outside and so forth, or whatever we need outside. And then we have, here is our gas tanks, our butane tanks, I mean propane tanks, that if we want to, we can use this. It's got fast, you know, fast disconnects inside of here, so we can, you know, power anything from the, from the inside. Great. So far, huh? 
That's sweet Jane right there. Hi. Hi, sweet Jane. <laughs> my partner in crime. Hang on to this Jane, but he's from uh, the RV center, and uh, so we wanted to take a look around. Since we're hey, you see something cool like this, I have and to. He's videoing right now. So. Oh, you're videoing. <laughs> well, you want to take it inside? Let's go inside. You probably ought to go in first because it's not that big, but you'll notice first here the floor. The floor is a lure, which is a composite material that I use in, re in restoring houses. It's a waterproof. You'll see the colors in here, like the greens down here below on this example. This was the reason for this that is in the restoration of it. Some of these were, were broken and, and out and I could not bring it back to the same level. So this is a marine paint from an outfit up in from 1820s or something up in New England. It does not, it's not affected by ultraviolet light, which is one of the problems with paint. And it's because it's a marine paint, it scuffs, it scuffs up easily. You can take care of it. This is your this is crayon countertops we have here. This is sort of a standard kind of a stove we've got. We do not have a refrigerator at this point. We're still planning on putting one back over inside of here. Underneath here is a dispenser for, for bags. That's your trash, and of course, keeping it real low over here, any kind of weighty stuff that's metal. Here, you have a Wave 3. You can see right here where it disconnects. It lifts right off of here, and we can put it up here and turn it any kind of direction we want to. Up here, Our spice racks here. We took the old motor out of there, which was your basic 1960s motor that took about 12 amps, enough to turn over an engine on a car probably. And now it's got a very small, like a one amp motor inside of there. So everything is LED. You can see them all inside of here. So our power, our power needs went down quite a bit. Great. Cool. Down below here is water. It's inside of here. Okay. And this pulls out. This is a bed that does pull out right here. And then we we fashioned down below. If I can do this right. Thanks, Jane. Yeah. We built this. This goes in here. I'm not going to necessarily put it all together for you, but you get the idea. And that goes there. It swings so that you can use it when you're cooking. Like this. Down here, down below. Or you can turn it sideways. And you can either eat on this or you can put your computer on here. And this side here pops down. So there's two of them that go down here. And other than that, I'm not sure what else I can show you. Up here and above. You see the fans here? Yeah, the fantastic. Over the bed and up here. Down there's a fantastic fan. Then there's a vent there that just gives you air circulation. It used to be where the air conditioning system was. We took the air conditioning out. All right. And then here's another vent. All of this is OEM. We had to find it again, you know, things like these latches and so forth is the original material, original things. They go to a magnet up here at the top, which goes like that. All right. Well, really Are you cool. Open for business? We're open for business. You don't want to look at my bathroom, but there is a bathroom here. It's just the one full up right now. All right. There you go. So it's probably too long of a story for you. But not at all. Not at all. Well, before I before yeah. I cut yeah. videoing, yeah. can you tell tell me your your name and, and where you're from and how you ended up getting a hold of this cool unit. My wife, my wife and I are both from Carbondale, Illinois. I'm D. Gorton. My wife is Jane Adams. 
She's a retired professor of anthropology. I'm a retired photojournalist. We found this uh, this one in uh, in Missouri, and it was in pretty good condition, which is critical when you're restoring something. It can't be so bad that it'll break your back. So this was pretty good shape. And then we spent about two years, two and a half years, going along and, re and repairing it and putting it back together again. You can figure, folks, for sure, if you put in this much money, it'll be twice that much more when you restore it. Oftentimes, you're better off buying something new. But if you want this kind of thing, it's the only way to get it. You have to do it yourself. Create this thing. And when you do, you know, you really feel, I think in my opinion, you feel a little bit more like you're at home. Something you built yourself. Very cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome.